There has been serious confusion throughout the community and the government on how the Western Victorian Transmission Network project has been formulated, costed and researched. The Australian Energy Market Operator, the AMO, an independent organisation owned by the energy industry and governments, awarded Osnet a contract to construct a high voltage transmission line from Bolgana near Ararat to Sydenham in late 2019. The AEMO, an independent organisation, is guided by the rules of the Australian Energy Regulator. However, there is no clear lines of governance and accountability of the AEMO. There is no Senate Estimates Committee oversight or other government authority to hold them to account. They are only reportable to their own energy industry bodies. At present, the federal and Victorian politicians are playing volleyball with the project and no one wishes to take responsibility or authority. Osnet and the AEMO, with nudging from the governments, argue that the shortest route will deliver the cheapest energy to the metropolis. The problem here is the destruction of our environment in its path, which was and is not considered in the costing of this project. The Pentland Hills Landcare Group over decades have rejuvenated numerous creek lines to create significant flora and fauna biolinks between the Lurdidurg and Werribee State Forest systems. And now this is in danger. Osnet and the AEMO do not value natural assets as they are only concentrating on dollars to appease their industry buddies and gather urban votes for the incumbent governments. Osnet and the AEMO's project corridor was selected well before the farcical community consultation began. The easement required for the overhead transmission line project will directly impact the Murnion Biolinks and the significant wildlife corridors. Please visit the Pentland Hills Landcare website to see how you can pr help protect our ecosystem. Osnet, you are in Australia now. Although you're not Australian, it is time to go down under, underground.